the most exciting couple of weeks, really. The most amazing couple of weeks. Um, uh, I have uh, something I, I just want to read to you. I mean, not going to be all of this, don't worry. But uh, just a few words. Uh, where's Mr. Johnson? There he is. Mr. Johnson here has a blog. He calls It's called The Business Word. And a short time ago, he interviewed a guy by the name of David Flaherty. Now, Mr. Flaherty is the head of Magellan. Magellan is a polling company here in Colorado that has done really good work. And is because it's in Colorado, it's, it's had a, a much better uh, track record than most other organizations that are not headquartered here. And in this interview uh, with uh, Mr. Flaherty, it starts out, this is, his, this is Mr. Flaherty's quote after looking at this race very, very closely. Tom Tancredo will become Colorado's next governor. And, and, Mike, and Republicans will take over the state's legislature. Now he goes on to say something very important for us this evening, okay, very important. He says, quote, I do believe that Tom Tancredo is going to win. Flaherty declared, in recent polls, Tancredo has about 73% of the Republican voters. Flaherty thinks Tancredo will wind up with over 80% of Republicans. It may be in the low 80s, he said. Now I'll tell you guys, if we do that, if we end up with 80% of the Republican voters in this state, we have won this race. Right. right now, right now, Pat and I are beating Hickenlooper by 10 points on, in the unaffiliate. 10 points ahead in the unaffiliate. Right. We have about eight, eight, between eight and 11 percent, nobody, we, we keep getting different reports, between eight and 11 percent of the Democrats voting for us. So it's, so it's the Republican vote. That's why it is so crucial that you do everything you can for, because it's just getting the Republicans to say, oh, okay, I understand, I can vote for somebody other than a Republican and still be okay. You know, the world will not end, and as a matter of fact, it'll be a better place for all of us. That is the first thing every liberal looks for. Anytime you say, we're having a problem, higher ed needs money, K-12 needs money, you go, well, gee, where are we going to get it? Right? Well, there's no place else to go, gang. There's no place else. We have taken money from every cash fund, from all the federal funds. There's nowhere else to go. Right. Exactly. Good, because you know what it'll do? It will force us to do things we never, ever would have been able to do before. And I can't wait. And, and if you don't believe we can do this, just watch me. Yeah. <laughs>